what is up everybody today is a really big day because finally my mega squirt has arrived this is the mega squirt from diy auto tune that i ordered last monday it took less than two weeks to get here which is way faster than i expected this one had to be custom built this wasn't just like an off-the-shelf design i had to uh pay for a couple modifications to be done before it was sent out and they say it takes about a three to four day lead time and then uh, it takes a few days for it to get shipped and with the weekend in there it took I mean if you count business days it took basically seven or eight business days for it to get to my door which is really really quick really really great super excited about this this is the single most expensive automotive related part I have ever bought I don't think I've spent this much on tools or anything this ECU was 629 something with shipping included and uh, that's more than I've spent on some of my vehicles in fact last two vehicles I have bought I paid $700 for so I almost paid as much for this as I did for my last two cars anyway here's the ECU let's get straight into it and start opening it oh yeah there is papers and oh, DIY auto-tune sticker that's pretty cool I was hoping I would get one of those and then papers and receipt information those I will keep to myself and then let's leave that sitting in there I can see the mega squirt already but okay so right here looks like a piece for the serial cable either that or it's the USB adapter I'm pretty sure this is just a piece for the serial cable itself so the rest of it's gonna be inside somewhere yeah there it is yeah this is the serial cable not entirely sure what this is for I'll figure that out later but this is what you use to plug the mega squirt into your computer to tune with there's supposed to be a USB adapter or something in there, but that might be what this is. Or at least this might be part of it, I'm not really sure. But there's those. If it's not, I'll just order an actual USB to a DB9 adapter, I think that's what it's called, to uh, be able to plug it in, because I have to order a voltage regulator anyway, so it's not a big deal. Oh, I'm going to save this guy for last to show you. But Okay, there we go. And then, right here, is the wiring loom. This is the 10-footer, I believe. This is the bigger one that they sell. They sell a shorter 36-inch harness. This is the giant, what is it, like 10-foot, I believe. This is plenty to run straight from inside of the car. We're going to be mounting the ECU all the way up to every plug-in sensor in the engine bay. And basically, all I have to do is splice in all the sensors that it requires and load a map on and run the car. It also appears as though they've included a wiring diagram in there to identify what everything is. And it looks like it's even Megasquirt specific, if you can see right there. It says Megasquirt, which is fantastic because the one thing I was really worried about was that I wouldn't be able to figure out how to wire the idle air control valve because it's got like five or six wires that run into it. So this is awesome. This will tell me how to do everything. That's beautiful. It looks really well done. The uh, corrugated plastic and everything on there looks good. You can see the plug that goes into the Mega Squirt itself right there. Awesome. And then, the star of the show, and the box is empty. Right there is the pre-assembled Mega Squirt 2. Let's get this thing out of the plastic. Since it was custom build, they've got the paper on there with my name on it, of course. I'll just sit that down here in my receipts. Oh, yeah. That is it. This right here is the key to make that car run right. This right here is what's going to take my Eclipse build to the next level. Up until now, it's just been pretty typical build, bolt-on stuff, budget stuff. This right here 
is entirely different. This right here is pretty next level. I've never done anything like this. I've never built anything with an aftermarket ECU before. This is so cool. I'm so excited for this. And it's got a DIY Auto Tunes logo and everything up there. Right up front here is where the harness plugs in and it's got the port for the vacuum line to run into it which they might have included with the wiring harness I'm not sure and then up front there's two plugs up here one of them is for the DB9 and then the other one I'm honestly not sure it's not labeled or anything one's a female plug one's a male plug and the male one goes to this the I don't know what the other one is here. Anyway, I'll figure out what all of that stuff is. I'll check my receipt and see what all I ordered because I might not have ordered. Yeah, I might not have ordered the USB adapter, but right there is the Mega Score. This is so exciting. This is Mega Score Two. Not for use on pollution controlled vehicles. Not for use on public roads. Oopsie. Uh, it's just the sticker right on the very back of it. It's so cool. And it's got a nice aluminum finish on it. It's actually lighter than I expected it to be. I figured this thing would have more weight to it, but the harness itself was what made the box feel so heavy. This thing weighs very, very little, but it's so beautiful. That is awesome. So excited to finally have this thing. Um, not sure exactly when I'm going to be putting it on. If I get my daily driver back this week, I'm going to be working on that. If I don't, and if I can get my hands on a USB adapter for this cable and on a voltage regulator for the alternator, we will be putting this in this weekend. If not, I'm going to order the stuff and hopefully do this next weekend. But we are approaching the uh, time to mega squirt the Eclipse and finally be able to drive the thing right. I did the other day because I've told you guys about the misfire it's got. I plugged the old ECU back into it and it has no misfire with the old ECU in it so it is 100% confirmed that it is an ECU related issue which means that this right here will solve every problem I have had with it and uh, I'll finally be able to drive the car and move on to other things. This is the most expensive thing the car is going to need ever basically even if I blow an engine up or something it, it would probably cost about as much as the CCU did to build a built the uh, motor from the bottom end up uh, if I were to just go with pistons and keep the stack rods of course and stuff but <clears throat> anyway that's it that is the harness right there I'll just show you guys everything one more time that is the complete harness right there you can see I believe that's the harness for the wire for the O2 sensor yeah, it looks like that's what color wires are in there and then everything else got wiring diagram never in there beautiful beautiful and I got everything like pre-cut so all I have to do is rip the ends off and stick uh, butt connectors or solder on it probably gonna go with uh, heat shrink butt connectors since it's all gonna be in the engine bay and get hot and stuff and I'm not very good at soldering so I don't want to end up damaging the motor because a uh, wire came loose or something so there's that and of course there's this adapter thingy I'm not really sure what that does unless I mean I can see one port in the back of the mega squirt that looks like this one but this one appears to be the female one because this one's got the prongs this one's got like the little hollow pins on it so I'm not really sure what it goes to it's probably some standard thing that they send with all this stuff and then of course there's serial cable I don't think my computer has a spot where I can plug this into but I've got a couple other random computers around that might have this so I might be able to get, get away without uh, getting a USB adapter to tune the car initially at least but uh, we'll see because I think the only computers I have that might have the DB9 on them don't have good batteries in them so I won't be able to auto-tune with them and then of course the Mega Squirt, one more quick look at that that thing's beautiful 
This is so exciting. I'll finally be able to get the car running. I'll finally be able to tune everything. And then when it comes time to turbocharge the car, put bigger injectors in it, whatever. If I want to do two-step anything, I can do it. I don't have to worry about doing this ever again down the road. So that's going to be it for this unboxing. There really are no updates for you guys right now. I haven't done anything. I've been sick and feeling like crap. So I haven't been able to get anything done anyway. A few more things I have to order or purchase before this can go in the car. I need to get a voltage regulator. I need to purchase the license for the MS tuner. And it looks like I might need the USB adapter for this cable. And that is it. That's all I need. So anyway, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I want to thank you all for watching make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so that you can see this get installed and then eventually down the road get to see that eclipse 428 eclipse get turbocharged and that's pretty much going to be it so thanks for watching i'll see you guys later